All right, it's about 6.50 this morning. We just finished getting ready. We're getting ready to head out, the, head out of the door to the office this morning. We had a pretty busy day. We've got a buyer consultation in the office today, and then we've got a showing this afternoon, along with our dials, social media, all of those fun items. So I'm really happy to take you guys along with me today for this busy one. I actually go out and go show some houses. So super excited for that. So with that, I'm gonna see you guys at my desk. All right, we just got to the office, it's about 7.15. We're gonna unpack, make some coffee, and I'll talk to you guys again. All right, so we just finished making coffee. We're gonna unpack the backpack, go through some emails, audit my CRM this morning, any new leads we got in last night, I'll put to qualify at the qualify drip, put on an email alert, that way we can get them in our ecosystem a lot faster, get them used to using myindianahomes.com, that way they're more likely to stick with it and see those properties, um, and also then I can see what they're looking at. Um, I'm also going to prep for my buyer's consultation today at 9 what this is really going to be is, you know, we're going to go through a list of criteria with them, and then also with first-time home buyers, I like to walk step by step through the actual purchase agreement. And the reason for that is it prepares them for what's to come. They get an idea of okay, I've got an inspection contingency, I've got an appraisal, insurance, all that stuff, and also with inspection, you know, there's couple different types, you know, reserves the right as is and waves inspection. Um, so I like to walk them through all of their options on that portion of it. Um, talk them through what earnest money is, what the consequences are of some scenarios, things of that sort. That way they have a really good grasp of it. That way when we're going through the deal, they kind of know what to expect. And it's not the first time that they're hearing a lot of this information. So I found it super helpful in the past with clients to walk them through the purchase agreement before we write offers or go see houses. Um, and then we have a showing tonight at 3.30. I'm not sure if we're doing our one-on-ones. Jake is sick today, so we'll see if he makes it in or not. But with that, I'll see you guys later. All right, so we're getting ready for a weekly one-on-one. -on -one. There's Wiki to be. Jake is on Zoom, he's a sick little guy, so I'm gonna do a little time lapse and then I'll see you guys afterwards. All right, so we just finished up the weekly one-on-one. -on -one. Wada yelled at me, um, per usual, but it went really well, went over some numbers, how many dials I made, content plan for this week, and we're gonna head back to my cubicle. Right, so we decided to stop at home for a little bit right before my showing. So, got home, just relaxing. Now I gotta head out to Woodburn to go show a house to a friend. Super excited about this one. I actually helped another friend get into that same area last year. Um, so super excited. Oh no, that was about two years ago now. So, um, super excited for that showing. I did have that buyer's consultation at nine this morning. Went fantastic. They're getting pre-approved with their lender. And again, that's what we really want. We want to get them excited, but also give them quite a bit of knowledge. So I will see you guys once I'm done with my showing. All right, so the showing went fantastic. The guy somewhat liked the house. Um, he's definitely gonna purchase. Just don't think that was the one for him at this time. So um, we're gonna keep looking. Stop by my parents' house. It's my brother's 21st birthday. Stop by to cake, ice cream, presents, all that fun stuff. Heading home now, and that's gonna really end out today. So I really appreciate you guys following me along. Don't forget to follow and comment any real estate questions you have down below. Thank you.